Now then, let's have a look at clipping, shall we? Vector clipping and raster clipping. This is the Affinity Designer workbook, and I'm using it on the iPad, and we've got page 90 and 91. And I, again, I'll do both objects in the one exercise because it's very small. To start with, vector clipping. Let's open up our artboards, and there we go. Remembers it from last time. The vector clipping exercise involves first this, um, this object here. Now on the layers panel, which is there, drag the darker ellipse, the object to be clipped, under the lighter orange ellipse, ensuring that the object is nested. Well, you can see that it's nested there. Now let me find it. Clipping is highlighted there, and there's our objects. There's our vector clipping object there. Let's move the whole thing over there. So I can see what's happening. There's the curves there, and the blue, the dark circle, and the brighter circle. Now, once it's the, according to the book, we just have to move that circle, which is that one there, the darker circle. Now, you can see that it's nested there because that one is out a bit to the left, and that one's nested, and that one's nested, which means they're underneath the brighter circle, and the brighter circle um, is part of the um, the funny sort of mm, rounded triangle shape. So it's that one there. You can see this if we move that out there. And you can see the darker circles now moved. Now I'll use the undo just to put that back. And there we go. That puts it back. That's all there is to it. Now if you move that, of course... That puts it on top of the orange circle. Get hold of it and come on, move. Now it's because it's nested under the orange curve, you can see that it becomes part of sort of like a, an eclipse but we don't want it there do we what we want it is outside there so that again it becomes it, it goes underneath the orange circle like a shadow an eclipse of the sun shall we say now that's all there is to that exercise that shows you how those things move around and what happens when you move their positions around. And of course you can do that with any of those. So let's hide that one. And we'll go back to the objects clipping. And that's that one there. Raster clipping. Now there's the unclipped one and the clipped one. The technique is identical to vector clipping, but brushed raster textures created in Pixel Persona can be clipped to vector shapes. Now you can see their curves, their vector shapes. Their curves, their vector shapes. So let's select a couple of those. There's that one, that one, that one, and that one, just for argument's sake. And you can drag them to one side. Because you might want to copy them or work on them separately or do something like that. Let's put them back there. Hide that one. Do the same here. This is the unclipped shape. That's just a few of them there. We can move all of those. And you can pull those out to one side. And that's really all there is to that exercise. And they're all nicely hidden there now. Clipping sounds technical and complicated, but it simply means containing a child object within the outline of another parent object. The parent object becomes the new boundaries for the child object. 
any areas of the child object which lie outside the parent's outline will be masked or hidden. Now, you might have to think about that a bit because it sounds like a fairly complex statement to me. But as you can see from this one here, the, sil the shadow from the orange hmm, sun circle there is actually hidden or, or clipped by the object above it. Some of the objects down in here, the same thing happens. What you have on the outside there is the outside of the staircase and the inside of the staircase. There's the outside of the staircase we can move. And what it is, is shadowing, you can see. And you can work out where you need that. If you look closely at that, you can see there's slight shadowing in the bottom right hand corner of that. Just about there. And you've got that there. See that? And that's there. Interesting exercise and something for you to play with. Let's hide that, shall we? Bring the whole thing back down to a reasonable size. There's the rest of our art boards.